Well, the third Saturday of May only means one thing in the world of horse racing. It is the Preakness Stakes. The race for the Black Eyed Susan st stared two years before the Kentucky Derby. Derby, I'm smiling right now because Jimmy Alexander is like jumping up and down in the studio I'm so with excited. excitement. I know yesterday was a big day for you. I wish you would have worn the outfit that you wore out to Preakness. Well, I didn't want to wear it, but you do notice my tie. Yeah, what is it's it? It's a Black Eyed Susan tie. It's a Black Eyed Susan tie. That could have been yours if you had gone to Preakness yesterday. $40 at Preakness. Always pays attention to the very close details. That's why we love them. Hey, Jimmy. Now I can say that's a write-off. But you know, yesterday, <laughs> sadly, I did not not even get to drink one Black Eyed Susan. But let's be honest, we could pretend that the Preakness is all about horse racing, but we know that's not true. The real purpose of the middle jewel of the Triple Crown is to get your drink on and to be seen. You don't believe me? Let's find out just how important fashion is at the Preakness. It's super important. I've been coming to Preakness since I was six years old with my dad. I've gone every year. And if you don't bring your best looks, then what's the point of coming to Preakness? So I actually made my hat. This was an award-winning hat I wore today to celebrate the Baltimore Orioles and just a, a love for Baltimore tradition. What is the biggest mistake somebody can make by coming to Preakness? Outfit wise. The wrong shoes. <laughs> every morning when I wake up, when I'm about to dress up, I always ask God what I should put on. And he tells me what I should wear. And today, this is the outfit that he wants me to put on. And so I'm here. At the Preakness, there's one thing as famous as horse racing, and that's the infield. Some call it part debutante ball, and others call it a degenerate derby. We don't, we don't like degenerate. You know, the best part about being at Preakness is the monk club and the infield fest. So we have unlimited beer with the monk club, which who's going to complain about that? It's the best time ever. But can I also add, you got to go to the lounge. DJ, super intimate, right by the uh, start of the horse race. Put your bets in, bet on some ponies, and win the day. The whole drinking atmosphere is kind of fun. It's kind of fun to just drink in a field randomly somewhere. And you have a bunch of uh, music going on, so it's like, good times. So tell me, how did you hurt yourself? I hurt myself playing field hockey for Johns Hopkins. Yeah, you're the team captain. I am the captain, yeah. Now, when you hurt yourself, did you lie in the ground, ride in pain, or did you keep going? I kept going. Am I wrong in thinking the real reason you're here, you don't want to be here, you'd rather be home in bed, but you have to stay, uh, keep going for the team? Of course, of course, for the team. <laughs> this is my first time at the Preakness, and I really, really enjoy myself. They have good food, they have good drinks, good atmosphere. The sun saved us today, and we're really enjoying it. Have you seen one horse yet? No, not one. <laughs> Oh, indeed. It's a party in the USA and a party up in Baltimore as well. Jimmy, you always bring history to yes. the studio. And I did not know, we were talking about this during the story, that Preakness outdates the Kentucky Derby. Absolutely, by a couple years. First. And you know how um, the Preakness got its name? Mm -mm. When Pimlico uh, was first built back in 1870, uh, the winning horse of the first race, his name was Preakness. So when they needed oh, a, okay. a, um, a new name for their spring race three Sounds years cool. later, the governor, Odin Bowie, Odenton, Maryland, Bowie, Bowie Maryland. Oh my God. Odin Bowie History, said, folks. you know what we should do? We should give, uh, we should honor the first winning horse. And they went with Preakness. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Yes. I don't know what's cooler. The Odin, Bowie, Preakness, Pimlico, everything. It's all, it's all related. I think we can all agree. You watching and, and us here in the studio, we are so glad our name is not Odin. I think that's what we can <laughs> that's agree what we can on. That's what we can all agree on.